welcomed up having to play the center position. He had never done it really before coming to Brooklyn. The big thing for him is getting healthy and feeling comfortable on the court. He said, listen, I'm 100% to play, but there's still a level of building up to being comfortable and getting his movement back. He said he's starting to see glimpses of where the movement running. He's I love his answer. Ben Simmons is a part of that, part of that mix when you talk about defending the opponent's big man. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are surprised that Sean Marks has not gone out and made a move in their future as possible to try to build this winner. They've only traded away a 2024 lottery protected draft pick to the Hawks. That was for Kevin Herter. But Herter's 24 in that group and someone they feel that could be part of their core. For but again, that comes off of a double team of Kevin Durant in the post. They have Davion Mitchell out here. Lyles comes to double. Durant looks over the defense, skips it to the weak side. Kevin Durant is literally creating almost every shot for the Brooklyn Nets. Lyles finds Murray, resets in the corner, and he misses. Lyles keeps it alive. Metu and its last touch. Four for five from the field, three for three from the line. Sacramento has not got Malik Monk involved until now. He has... Here's Fox, one of the fastest players in the NBA. Lyles. And Durant clear. We'll see, or they thought it was. We'll see if Sacramento tries to go two for one. Three-point game. Lyles turns seconds into the second quarter. He calls the timeout. Defensive breakdown by the Kings leads to a three-pointer. Yeah, first possession of the second quarter for Sacramento here. Brooklyn on a 14-5 run. Fox hit the three at the end of the quarter. And look at Murray. Patient. Oh, he missed the bunny. This is in the surprising Portland Trailblazers. I had kicked both those teams to be in the <laughs> top four in the West. Yes, revisionist history. Oh, nice lead. Murray. Herter back on the floor, and now Monk open for three, and a offensive. Here it is, and he definitely moves and catches him with that right elbow. Not used to being in that position on a guy like Seth Curry. It's one thing to switch and guard to dribble. Monk can't return the favor. Mills on the run, taking on three kings, gives it up. Ah! Oh, blocked. And that's going to be a jump ball. The Joe Harris. Nets need him desperately. Absolutely. And he led the league twice in three-point shooting as Simmons with a great steal almost gives it back. And he, he looks good, but he went for a no-look pass. A little razzle-dazzle ended up turning it over. Mentioned the Kings are among the league's best in deflections. And they get him a lot. That's over and back. Predicted. There would be a quick hook somewhere, and it happens to be with the man who's taken over the point guard duties, minus Kyrie Irving, who is missing his seventh consecutive game. Fox fakes it, and out it goes. Clacks it at Sabonis. Sabonis comes away with it. Too strong in there. Sabonis running the break. Leaves it for Barnes. Now Fox, little pull up. That's a spot. Left elbow. Watsonabe in the corner. And Davis comes away with a rebound. Doing it all. Six boards now for Davis. Inside, Sabonis. Sabonis lays it in. And a foul. Well, Durant comes off the pin down, draws two defenders, and his sixth assist of the night. His playmaking over the last six games has been outstanding. Oh, speaking of. Another great pass from Durant. Blackston just couldn't get, the, get it up before the help came. Fox shifty. Hey, Sacramento's deep. They got options. They have weapons on their bench. Keegan Murray leaves with an injury. Davis steps in. Sabonis, nice feed, and Herter scores. Sacramento. Davis for three. Why not? Brooklyn has turned it over 11 times, turned it into 15 points at Sacramento. Durant with 25, so he's scored 25 or more in every game this year. Keeps that streak alive. 15 in a row now. Sabonis bounces it offline until that miss. They have made their first 18. One of the positive numbers for them tonight. They don't have many. Sabonis deep inside. He's got Simmons on him. Curry helps. 
And Herter skip pass all the way across to Mitchell. And he shakes Curry with his step back is good. The voice of the Sacramento Kings, Mark Jones, will have that Celtics Hawks game tomorrow. Calls the Kings games. And uh, they have got a great team this year to follow. Looks like they'll have a chance. It's going to be a fun team to follow all year long to see if they can erase that. As He's looking for a foul, defended well by Alcala. Here's Sabonis now. Playmaker gives it to Herder. Three pointer. Oh, why not? And how about the Kings? Seven of nine from three point range in this quarter. They've made half their threes tonight, 15 to 30. And Sabonis is fouled from Monty McNair's plan as he thought about how this could all fit together. This has certainly helped him in that process. Davion Mitchell. Three minutes to go in this third quarter, but all Sacramento have opened up a huge lead here. That'll be an offensive foul. So many years with Steve Kerr and, and learning to calm down a little bit and evolve in his life. He's learned to really embrace the trust factor, and it's working so far. Yeah, I'm sure Simmons go big minutes in the second half. Yep. If I were Jock Vaughn, he's playing the best he has played since he's been here in Brooklyn. He's starting to play with the aggressiveness we've seen, I'd let him gain that confidence and keep rolling. And there with a rebound coming to the end of this third quarter. Quarters two and three have just been an absolute blitz for Sac being able to stop Sacramento at any point in the game. I don't think they've put together two or three good culture and defensive culture in an organization. Sacramento their numbers are not great defensively this year. If they get just a little bit better, they're going to be tough to handle.